Did you know that the Port Harcourt refinery in Nigeria has been in operation since 1965 and is now undergoing a major renovation? Well, it's true. This bustling hub of energy production nestled in the oil-rich Niger Delta region has been a cornerstone of Nigeria's oil industry for well over half a century and now it's getting a much-needed facelift. This refinery complex, known as Alesa Eleme, is located in River State, Nigeria, just about 15 miles east of Port Harcourt. As we move forward in time to March 2021, we find the Nigerian government approving a budget of 1.08 billion pounds, or 1.5 billion dollars, for the renovation and modernization of this refinery complex. Now, the Port Harcourt refineries are rather a twosome. The newer facility has the capacity to produce 150,000 barrels per day, while the older plant can churn out 60,000 barrels per day. Together, they can produce a total of 210,000 barrels per day. Fast forward to a recent Thursday, where the federal government confirmed the resumption of operations at the Port Harcourt Refining and Petrochemical Company in Rivers State. The Minister of State for Petroleum, Gas, Ekparikpe Ekpo, praised this development, noting that restreaming the refinery will be a boon for the nation's liquefied petroleum gas, or LPG, industry. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Oil, Senator Heineken Lokpobiri, who led members of the Refinery Steering Committee to inspect the facility, echoed these sentiments, lauding the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and Nigerians for their efforts. He also noted that refined petroleum products would start flowing from the refinery after the Christmas break. Interestingly, the government had earlier in the same year repeatedly declared that the Port Harcourt refinery would begin operations before the end of 2023. Nigeria's refineries in Port Harcourt, Kaduna and Wari have been dormant for years, as the federal government has spent several billions of naira to revamp the facilities. But now, it seems that the Port Harcourt refinery is poised to roar back to life. It's important to note that LPG, also known as cooking gas, is a major byproduct of the refinery. The managing director of Technomontnig Limited, Fabio Del Ciopo, one of the EPC contractors of the rehabilitation project, added that his company remains committed to fulfilling the terms of the contract. In summary, the Port Harcourt refinery, a long-standing pillar of the Nigerian oil industry, is undergoing a significant renovation. With a combined production capacity of 210,000 barrels per day, the renewed refinery is set to revitalize the nation's liquefied petroleum gas industry and contribute significantly to the country's energy sector. The future of energy production in Nigeria is looking brighter than ever.